Now this is the code for the QR code generator website. Click on that index HTML part. Now this is the QR code generator website. We have built. We are generating the QR code of text, links, phone, record, app links, and messages. And this is the design of our website. Now we will use another JavaScript QR code library. Its name is QR code styling. We will generate QR code of different design with the center logo. These are the same samples of QR code generated from the new QR code styling library. Here is the some sample code for that QR code generator. We will create instance of QR code styling, and to this we will pass different properties and its value. And here are the some properties we can set for that QR code library. So here from here we will get that JavaScript library link. Paste it in a new tab. Copy this code back to that Visual Studio code. And here and create a new file QR code style and paste it here for make that document and here I was getting an else issue I removed that else simply now I will comment out this here I will add a new file generator.js and I would rename this to resource.js file and in index.html file we will provide link to that new JavaScript files it should be resource.js file Provide a link to that generator.js file. Above it, we will provide a link to that QR code style.js file. I will comment out this. Now, back to that resources.js file. Cut this code. And here we will create a new function simple generator. Remove these comments and to this and to this function we will pass two arguments one will be element and the other will be user input copy this function name and paste it here so let pass element and user input now Let's remove this comment. So first we check is it working correctly. Refresh that page. And now it's working perfectly. We have formatted the code well and it has no effect on our website. Create a new function and I would name it directive qr underscore generator. And to this function we will pass two arguments. So we will copy it from here and paste it there. We will create a constant schema code variable and we will be the instance of the code styling. Then below we will set QR code dot append. And we will pass that element to that pent and in this element our QR code will show up. Now I will comment out this and copy this function back to the resources.js file, paste it here. We will pass two arguments, one would be element and the other will be user input. Now back to that generator.js file and to that QR code styling. We will pass some properties and its value. First will be width and the width will be 255. Height will be 255. And the data. And the data will be user input. Now let's try to check is it working. And now it's working with that new library, and we are generating page QR code with that new QR code styling library. 
and we will get the image record for the QR code. So in simple quotation, we will pass image link. We search for Facebook logo. Click on any logo. I will use this one. Open in a new tab and copy this logo link. Paste it in the single quotation. Now, if we refresh this page, the Facebook logo will appear in the center of that QR code. Now, from here, you can check the property that we can apply to that QR code and to the type we can pass SVG or canvas. So I will copy this code and paste it above that simple pin generator code. And set the type property. And for type, we will pass SVG. We can set that margin. Let's set that margin to four. But that four, margin four is not showing. If I increase that margin, it will show up. This margin is the margin from the outside of that QR code. So I will set it to zero. Now the image option property is a of type object. And to this we will pass margin. Pass that margin is a four. It will not show any effect. And let's increase it to 14. And the size of the image will decrease. Now I will replace it with the eight. Now it's look good. Set that to hide the ground dots. It is true by default. And if I change it to false, and the background behind that Facebook logo will show. So I will remove this as it is by default true. And to that cross origin, I will pause that anonymous. And for anonymous, it shows the QR code. And if I change it to user credential, then QR code will hide. So I will change back to the anonymous. And now let's set the dot option property for QR code. We can pass color and the type. The type will be the edges of that QR code. So we can set that to rounded and its edges of that QR code will be changed to rounded. We can set it to dots and it will be changed to the dot format. We can change that to extra rounded. Now let's search for some colors. And with the help of color picker, I will copy this color code and paste it here. And we can change that color. We can change it to dots option type to glossy rounded, glossy, dot, square, and rounded. The next property we will set is that corner square option and we can set its color I would like to change it to this color and anytime we can change this code so I would like to change it to blue one and it will change to that blue one if I refresh it so this is looking good and we can change the type of common square option to dot or square and using different types of dots option and comma square option we can generate different designs of QR codes. Now let's accept the image from the user. So for this we will create a new input field. So here above that submit button we will create a new input field for file. So the type of that input field will be file. Name will be that select image. ID will be equal to that select image. And it will accept image of any extension. And the class will be the form control provided by Bootstrap. And now let refresh it. And now it look good. And I will provide margin tab. So it's the margin tab will be up to. Now 
and now add an image element and to that image element we will provide the id of selected image the width of that image will be 50 pixel so we set the width to 50 and height to 50 it will be of type square copy that selected image id and that input field id and on input field we will set on change call to that function and the function will be read file and to the read file we will pass this element so copy this function name back to that resources.js file create a new variable image and the image will be initialized with an empty string so let's create a function and the name that function is read file into the treat file we will pass an element so if the element that files and that files array is not empty then we will set const to render and we will create the instance of file reader so let's set that reader dot unload and for the unload we will set an anonymous function let's trigger an event now in the head of that index.html file we will paste some libraries these libraries will be in the description with this video now let's set the source of that selected image element we will set that attribute source and the source will be equal to e.target.results this will provide the link to that image also we will set that image variable to that link so the image variable will be equal to e.target.result now below this we will set that renderer dot read as data url and to this we will pass the first file now back to that index.html file so i will add a peer tag here now back to that browser refresh it select an image and it's not showing there it's an error so we will fix it now back to that resources.js file here we are declaring this function inside another function so we will move it above that function paste it here and now let's try again reload it select an image and it's not showing there so let's fix it and here we will add a hash character as we are getting that element by id so let's refresh it select an image and the image will show at the bottom of that input field now we will show that image at the center of that QR code so let's back to that code here copy this function and paste it here after that in that attractive keyword generator we will accept an image so here we will get an image and the image is stored in that variable so back to the generator.js and here we will accept an image also and here to that image property we will pass that image and if the image is not we will show that facebook image so let's try to reload so we will select an image and the image is selected but it is not shown here if we change to that other field then it's shown so we will fix this so back to that resources.js file copy this function name cut it from here and we would like to paste it there and now it will work well. now let's select an image and now it's working well now if we select an image it shows 
the image below that input field and also in the center of that QR code. And it also shows the image for other input fields. And let's try here and it's shown here. Now you can set different configuration for that QR code. So the type we can change the type to square. It can be changed to dots. And we will I will refresh it and it will change the shape. And it will change to the dot format. Now let's change it to square. And we can change that color to any form. Also, we can change it to extra rounded. Also, for user input, now if the user input is equal to null, we will generate the QR code of this link. For the square option, we can set two properties dot or square, and for the dots option, we can set multiple properties like square, around it. Let's refresh that, and we can set it to class around it, and it will be generate the code of another type and now let's change it to now let's change it to dots and change it to square we can change the color to any of so changing this color code we change the color of that square so we can set this to orange we can set it to gray Orange, red, now let's change the color of this and let's change it to blue. Now it's the good. Now let's select an image and it will show the center of that schema code. And this is how we can change the color of that dots and square along with their types. Now we will set QR code dot download and to the download we will pass the name of the download. The name will be QR code and the extension will be PNG. And the pop-up for the download will appear. So this is how we can download the image. Now let's set the ground option for the QR code. And for the go to the ground option, we can go pass color and gradient. So let's set the color for first. And to that color, we will pass color code or color name, but I will not use this color. I would like to use a gradient. Gradient is of type object. And to that object, we will pass gradient type. The type will be linear. We can set it to radio and the rotation will be equal to 45. And here we will pass color stops. I would like to copy it from there. So copy it. and paste it here and the gradient background will appear i would like to change it blue to white so let me to white and the color black to the color red to orange now let's refresh it and it will be changed to color orange angle is 45 we can change it to any one but I am not interested in this. Now let I am changing dots option color to red. Now I can select an image from here. Let's select any image. And it will show in the center of that QR code. So this is about and so this is all about generating QR code with a center image and with various designs.